Great, so we have three muscle fiber types, and as it turns out, we have three different types of motor neurons that are going to innervate each of these types. So one is gonna innervate the slow twitch fibers, one's gonna innervate the fast um, oxidative glycolytic fibers, and one's gonna inter innervate the fast glycolytic only fibers. And the way this looks is that you have a muscle that is mixed, and I've done this so that the red are slow fibers, the white are fast glycolytic, and the pink are, um, are, are the oxidative glycolytic fast fibers. They should be different sizes, but that was going to be a nightmare of getting this hexagonal pattern to uh, fit, so I didn't do that. So, but realistically, they would be different sizes. Um, and what's important about now that we step back into the central nervous system is that every motor neuron is pledged to one type of muscle uh, fiber. So every motor neuron will innervate a, a group of differing sizes, we'll talk about that in a minute, of muscle fibers, but only muscle fibers of one type. So this motor neuron, this red motor neuron, is gonna only innervate slow twitch muscle fibers. This pink motor neuron is only gonna innervate the fast uh, oxidative glycolytic fibers. And this white one, gray one, is gonna only innervate the fast glycolytic uh, twitch fibers. Okay, so if we go over to the board, here are the muscle fiber types, slow twitch, fast oxidative glycolytic, and fast glycolytic. And they get pledged to one type of motor neuron, a slow motor neuron in the case of slow twitch, and we will abbreviate that slow motor neuron as an S. Those are S motor neurons. And then the fast oxidative glycolytic, the motor neurons that innervate these are called fast fatigue resistant, so FR abbreviated as FR. And the flat, fast glycolytic muscle fibers are innervated by fast fatigable motor neurons, FF. Okay, so let's go back over to the slides. And what you see is that the, uh, that, that the motor neuron is gonna provide the sole innervation to a muscle fiber but the motor neuron will innervate a number of muscle fibers, okay? So the, the, the motor neuron and the muscle fibers that it innervates, that is the motor unit. That's called the motor unit. One motor neuron and all the mus muscle fibers that it innervates is the motor unit. It is the quanta in the motor control system. You get, uh, integers of motor units that are activated. You don't get half a no motor unit. You can't have fractions of a motor unit that are involved in any movement. It's always multiples of mo motor units. Whole motor units are either involved or are either activated or not activated. So there are a few consequences of the fact that, that motor neurons are pledged to one of these types. There are going to be diseases that are going to either by design or by chance preferentially affect different types of motor units. So let's say that you catch a virus that preferentially affects S motor neurons. What will be the result? Will that, if we have on one hand strength, and on the other hand, endurance, which one will be more impacted? Well, if you lose these, it's gonna be endurance. Strength will be relatively spared, but endurance will be severely affected. In contrast, if you lose FF motor units, strength will be impaired, whereas endurance may be preserved, okay? So, uh, so that's an important uh, point to remember. Now, the, remember that the maximum tension that can be produced by a slow twitch fiber is small. And therefore, there are a lot of slow twitch, uh, there are a lot of slow motor units, 
but each one of them only contributes a very small amount to the maximal tension that a muscle can produce. So let's consider that we have a mixed muscle, and this is the, uh, this is the, the uh, proportion of different motor units in that, that, that supply that muscle. So there, a quarter of them are slow motor units, uh, less than a quarter are fast fatigue resistant, and a little more than half are fast fatigable. And what you see is that the slow motor units produce much, if you look at the total force produced by all of these motor units activated, the, all of these S5, uh, these slow motor units are going to only produce a little bit of force. And the fatigue resistant uh, motor units will produce less force than their proportion uh, of the total number of motor units. Whereas the fast fatigables produce the bulk of the force. They have, each one of them has a big contribution to make. And so they are going to disproportionately contribute to the strength of the muscle. So those are the, those are the three types of motor units. And now what we're going to look at is how muscle tension builds if you uh, excite an S motor unit, uh, FR or a FF.